High-end Mythic Raiders are responsible for almost everything wrong in Shadowlands. Where have I heard this before? Where have I heard this before? From the level 27 Undead Mage. Before you take your pitchforks out, read everything and think carefully. Because if you don't get it, you're stupid. I'm not defending Blizzard for the record content drought. I am, however, exclusively blaming High-end Mythic Raiders, or the 0.1% quotation marks, for the state of the game at the moment and how we got here. Shadowlands has been riddled with restrictions in one form or another since before its inception. Here are six examples how high-end Raiders and Keystone players ruined this game for everybody. The AoE cap was introduced to some classes or specs. This was done only for the reason that high-end Mythic Keystone players don't clear dungeons too quickly or do some insane pulls. Some classes have a few abilities that aren't AoE caps, while others have none. This has done nothing to help people enjoy their class more, but was put in place only to prevent high-end players from abusing it on high keys. So you don't think those players would use the uncapped ones, then? I mean, you negated that point right in here, right? Loot. Loot was nerfed to the point where M plus participation dropped to below BFA levels in just a few months. Why? Because of high-end Mythic Raiders. In order to make them clear the overtuned raid in two weeks instead of one, Blizzard effectively screwed gearing for the entire player base in every single form of content. No one had a better experience because of these changes. The point one percent still cleared the raid in two weeks, and the rest of us were left with consequences. You, my friend, should uh, read Blizzard's thoughts on this, which is they wanted loot to be more meaningful, as did many of the players. But still, sure, raiders did it. Overtuned heroic end bosses. <laughs> tier. <laughs> this was. Is this a Shadowlands exclusive? Because it's not. Tier after tier, we see heroic bosses overtuned to the point where they are stronger than two or three of the first bosses in Mythic. This is done exclusively to promote boosting and token sales. <laughs> there is absolutely no other reason to gatekeep the last two bosses on each tier and make them way, way harder than the first eight. Who benefits from this except the boosters? How can this help new players take the next step into Mythic Raiding? This way of balancing bosses is done literally only for token sales. Okay, I mean, that's just fucking insane. Mythic Raiding record low participation of dying guilds. You've all seen it. Guilds are breaking one after another and going on breaks. I wonder why. Mythic raids feel like annoying work conferences that no one wants to attend instead of feeling like fun fights with the boys. The rewards are just not worth what you go through. And it's normal more and more people are stopping after they reach cutting edge. Of course, no one can make you raid Mythic, but at the same time, the entire game shouldn't be balanced around that raid difficulty alone. <laughs> I hear this one a lot, right? Yeah, Mythic is the only raid difficulty that is completely really like this, nothing you? to do with the rest of anything to do in this game. At all. It works entirely differently. And as you keep pointing out over and over again, it's 0.1% of players. Nothing else in this game is remotely related to Mythic raiding difficulty. At all. Oh shit, I'm in this. Is this why he linked it me light? He mentions me. After the roundtable preach video, I was left speechless. When they asked the guild masters how they are keeping their guilds together. They basically said they are treating WoW as a seasonal game and they almost exclusively play other games. These are the people that the game is designed around. These are the people who only play the game for financial gain. <laughs> These people are the ones impacting developer decisions. These are the people who leave after they've had their little race every few months. That's true. I've seen a few of these raiders like this uh, Thudlock, I think his name is. As soon as the race is over, those motherfuckers never play World of Warcraft. Ever. They just immediately leave. Every single fucking time, man. Every single fucking time. All of them. Every single one. They just immediately leave the game. All of them. Name This is men- I mean, this guy knows Twitch exists, right? Also, more importantly, memes aside, Blizzard made this a seasonal game. You might have noticed- that they label their shit season 1, 2, and 3. The players didn't do that. Blizzard did that. They literally label their items now. Season 1, 2, and 3. And they have done for a while. If you, Especially if you're on the PTR. It might shock you to find that since fucking Legion. When they haven't named all their items. They just call them season 2 plate braces. Season 3 leather belt. Blizzard did that. 
Nobody asked for a seasonal MMO. Nobody. At all. And it does not benefit the 0.1% at all, you fucking maniac. The delay is mainly because of high-end Mythic Raiders. What the fuck? The time developers have spent on conduit energy gating systems. What time? What? There was no time put into conduit energy gating systems. None at all. In fact, they completely glossed over it when we brought it up. Are you insane? All done, so 0.1% cannot change them in raids. The time spent creating worthless legendaries and worthless class covenant abilities. <laughs> All done because of high-end raiders. <laughs> what? They mean the ones that are more likely to swap over regardless of the constrictions. Okay. All the time spent in overtuning the next raid so the 0.1% can take more than two weeks to finish it. All the time spent on time-gating legendaries behind months of Torghast, so the same people cannot finish the raid one day faster. What? They just get the best one first. What are you talking about? What the fuck are you talking about? How did you even arrive at this conclusion? I feel like you were giving a highway a straight road to drive on, and you crashed into a boat. That's what I feel like. Every single delay, every single system is implemented to be a blockade against those people to make their own, make them have their race at a slower pace. Everyone else pays for the consequences. How the fuck do you pay for these consequences? I guarantee you've never been in this situation because none of this makes any sense. Now, whether or not you agree with me, I don't, by the way, on these issues is not important. Okay. Oh, I'm <laughs> it doesn't change the outcome of the current situation. You're right. The game is being balanced exclusively over high-end raiding. <laughs> While the population is going down and Mythic Raid in general is less and less popular each patch. Here's my simple message to Blizzards. Stop balancing the game around people who only play it for financial gain. These people hate the game and make it worse for everybody. Let people have fun. Give people new content and stop creating those disgusting restrictions. <sighs> Do you know... Mr. Astakata. Do you want know the, the real truth that people really hate? Really, really hate to hear. Do you know who is worst affected? Always by changes made in this game that are designed specifically to enhance the casual player base and not the high end player base. Because nearly every change in this game is designed around the fucking casual player base, which is fine because they're the majority of people. The people who always always get it worse than anyone else are the mythic raiders a hundred percent of the time a hundred percent through every single expansion in this game where it has been made for the more drop in drop out casual player it has been fucking worse for the mythic raiders that's why they call it the mythic tax all of this shit makes it worse because conduit energy affects very few people typically those who play at the higher end of the game where respecting matters all those things Always affect those players worse. Always. Fuck off. Shut up. Knobhead. <laughs> knobhead. Absolute fucking knob. This is Warlords of Draenor all over again. Again. Warlords of Draenor all over again. It's the Mythic Raiders' fault. Fuck you, man. Fuck you. Literally, the only reason people talk about raiding in WAD is because we were fucking lucky the raiding was good. Lucky! As if we have any hand in designing the content for this game. If we did, Conduit Energy would be gone. Good morning. If we had any say in how this game was developed at all, there would be no Conduit Energy. There would be no shards of fucking domination. We would have legendaries that we could just swap good? in and swap out of. Because that would be more fun. That would be how it works pisser and it's not to slow us down either are you gonna slow down the top fucking 0.1% of this game you would have to cut their fucking hands off to slow them down you would have to cut you would either have to do something drastic like cut their you fucking hands off or good. ban anime one of the two in order to slow them bastards down because they will fight tooth and nail through any fucking walls you put up they will charge through it like a fucking wall every time if you make those cunts do 35 split runs 
And that's how it has to be. They will fucking do it until their eyes bleed. Financial. How much money do you think is in playing World of Warcraft, by the way? For the Raiders. Do you think, do you think the Raiders are on massive salaries? Do you think that? Because you are nuts. You are fucking nuts if you think that there's some teams out there who are sponsoring 30 odd players when they could sponsor a fucking League of Legends team or a Fortnite kid who's 12. 